Welcome to Shrimp Cover Lit. I am Adrian Fort. And I'm Dalton Gentry. And this is the end of September and Adrian Fest has passed. So we're going to have this video now, which is still something of a mystery to me because you can infer nothing about my birthday from it. So, backstory. Adrian's birthday is in September. We made that noted. That's why uh, Adrian decided to read Lord of the Rings all of September. Uh, but anyway, Adrian is not a birthday person. If you don't understand this, uh, I highly suggest Parks and Rec. Adrian is Ron Swanson. So I was promised, or I promised not to do a, anything special for Adrian's birthday, uh, not to acknowledge it, to just give him his time. However, we had a viewer who is very near and dear to our hearts contact me. So. And she contacted me and said, I'd really like to get the, a couple books for Adrian. Can I have your shipping address? So I said, absolutely so. So Monse has sent you some books, Adrian. And we will link Monse down below. And you should definitely check out her channel and subscribe to her and give her hell. <laughs> uh, and I, I also got a hold of her because I said, a package arrived at my door and I'm looking at it and I'm like, this isn't from a publisher. And this isn't from my normal, like, you know, nooks and crannies of, you know, how I get books. What is this? So I opened it and I'm like, oh shit, that's what it was. My bad. <laughs> uh, so I repackaged it. Very nicely in the package that came to Repackaged does not mean I slipped it back into where how it was sent. That's not what repackaged means. Yes, it does. That is not what repackaged uh, I, means. I repackaged it and sealed it, uh, but you have not seen these before. And this is a gift. You didn't even seal it. Uh, shut up. It's I, hanging open right there, Dalton. Shut up. I thought about repackaging it, but I was like, nah, he doesn't want to open anything. So, Adrian, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Adrian. Happy birthday. Uh, I was expecting Mr. President. I was, <laughs> I was expecting this to be to be like Marilyn Monroe to, to JFK. Please, one more time. No, I'm good. You Open good. your present. All right, let's see here. I'm terrible with this. This is I, why I don't like this. <laughs> Fyodor <laughs> Dostoevsky. Dostoevsky. I believe that's how it's pronounced. Do Dostoevsky. Yes. White Knights. What is this? White. No I've never heard of White Knights. Okay. Uh, that is, I'm assuming, Russian literature. Uh, well, yes. Yeah. Dostoevsky. Yes. Two devastating Russian stories. Two devastating Russian stories of solitude, unrequited love, and depravity from beyond the grave. That sounds... That sounds... Batting a thousand so far. Yeah, that sounds... That is Adrian in a nutshell. Like everything Adrian enjoys. <laughs> uh, Solitude, I, unrequited love, and depravity? Hey! I think Monse did say specifically that she enjoyed uh, when we did a little Russian lit back in the day. Uh, so maybe she's hinting at something here. Because Monse is an awesome person, yeah. uh, or she was just like, I feel bad. Translated by Ronald Meyer. Or because she feels bad... Uh, she got me a copy, too. Ooh. Yes. So we have technically two copies. Uh, dare we say we may have to look into reading some of this. I think we will. Uh, but anyway, that's gift number one. Or was his destiny from the start to be just one moment near your heart? Ivan Turgenev. A sentimental love story. White Knight. White Knights. Wild Knights, Wild Knights, were I with thee, Wild Knights would be our luxury. I hate you so much. Who's that from? Uh, Poe? No? Emily Dickinson. Oh, is it? Who would you have guessed? You knew who that was. I knew who that was. You've got hey, Emily Dickinson. Open your Dickinson fucking all right. All right, all I right. hate you so much. You've got Emily Dickinson memorized. Mm -hmm. Look at you. Giorgio Vasari. Leonardo da Vinci. Is this a mini biography? I'm not sure. The first art historian explores genius and madness in Leonardo and other celebrated Renaissance artists. Oh, was this uh, his... Contemporary biographer? I don't know what this is. These are Adrian-centric things. Life of Leonardo da Vinci, life of Fra Filippo Lippi, and life of Sandro Botticelli. This is very interesting. Okay. Uh, well, obviously you made it very clear that you do like da Vinci. We did a da Vinci tag at one point. Uh, I do so like biographies. I'm still saying, batting a thousand. Mons knows you better than I do. Mons. I, I always say Mons. Monse knows your name better than you know hers. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my. This seems wonderful. These are all uh, li Penguin Little Black Classics. Which is always something like I'd love to have the full collection of any of those. Uh, the Norton cl Classic Anthologies, whatever. Just like the full shelf. Uh, I am not going to spend $8,000 nor build a bookshelf just to hold them all. I have never seen these. Really? Yeah. Okay. This is number 118. How many are there? I assume hundreds. Obviously, at least 118. At least 118. Let's see. Frederick Nietzsche. Why am I so... Why I am so clever. Oh, wow. What is it? I have never heard of why I am so clever. I don't know. Why I am so wise. Why I am so clever. This is gorgeous. Okay. Why I write such good books. <laughs> uh, that is going to literally be the title of your biography. <laughs> <laughs> Self-celebrating and self-mocking autobiographical writings from Echi Homo. Ishi? Echi? The last work Nietzsche wrote before his descent into madness. Uh, this is like bla Leaves of Grass. Okay. Um... But probably more clever. Sometimes I think things that I shouldn't say. <laughs> what, what, <laughs> they make what, me what, funny. What's the name of that? Leaves of grass? What? Fields of grass? What I believe it's uh, Leaves of Grass, yes. Am, Walt I, Whitman. am I going full full idiot here? Ah. Uh, there's a penis joke in there somewhere. But there's only penis jokes in there. There's only penis jokes in there. Let's see. But what, you like what, Nietzsche. What, uh, I love Nietzsche. I want to read the first sentence from this. How's this go? The fortunateness of my existence, its uniqueness perhaps lies in its fatality to express it in the form of a riddle as my father I have already as my father I have already died as my mother I still live and grow old interesting well that's Nietzsche man that uh, is that is very much so it's a 45 word sentence and that's what you get from Nietzsche so there is one more book in there Adrian right, let's see. I like watching you open presents I don't know why knock him stiff Donald Ray Pollock a whiskey stained classic. I'm not familiar. I'm I am not, not either. Monse, look at you go. Short stories? Uh, look short stories. It looks like a novel. Really? Pills? Let's see. Uh, we'll read the back. That makes sense, I guess. Blunt, brutal, but infused with a deep sympathy, Knock'em Stiff is a pitch dark and hilarious collection of stories set in a tiny town in southern Ohio. The youth of Knock'em Stiff grow up in the malignant shadows of their parents. Raised on abuse, alcohol, drugs, and cigarettes. This is my autobiography. <laughs> they are stunted in every possible way. It just gets better. They talk a lot about escape, but they never so much as cross the county line. Actually, it doesn't sound bad. I'd read that. It sounds like Southern Gothic almost, okay. doesn't it? A little bit so. Uh, it sounds like Southern Gothic, but it's set in Ohio. I'm, I mean, that's the universality of literature, really, but... Uh, wow. Wow. Okay. So tell Monse thank you, because she did good with her presents. My mother didn't even get me a birthday present, Monse. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Uh, um, I'm flattered. I'm so flabbergasted. After I ripped these open, because I'm like, oh, package, uh, and I'm looking through them, I realize Monse knows you better than I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she really does. What have you been doing? I, I don't know. Step uh, it up, Dalton. But again, Monse, being awesome as she is, decided, well, we can't just get Adrian a present. Dalton will get jealous. That's correct. Uh, so she sent me some presents as well. Uh, like I said, I did get a copy of White Knights, which I think we almost have to read now since she sent us two. I don't know if that's a hint or not. White Knights, White Knights, were I with the... I hate you so much. Social justice would be our luxury. Uh, but proving that Monse knows us better than almost anyone, she got me a copy of Anthony Bourdain's Medium Raw. <laughs> which I have talked about many times on this channel because I love Kitchen Confidential and I've never read Medium Raw. Uh, are you familiar with Anthony Bourdain? Not particularly. I think you would love him. Uh, this is a... Uh, he was a chef at a period of time. He is now a, uh, a traveler and a commentator. He does a lot of food stuff, but he also does a lot of uh, life. As ferociously rude as anything Bourdain has done before. That sounds... Adrian it's good. Ish. It is good. Uh, a bloody valentine to the world of food and the people who cook. Uh, which, yay. yay. I like to pride myself as a foodie who doesn't know how to cook. Uh, but I was flattered and really excited because I've always wanted this book as well. Proving that Monse watches way too much. Food <laughs> <than that>. <laughs> and, and that apparently Dalton will give his address out to anyone as long as there's presents promised. Uh, so. You have... I, we need to get a P.O. box because people <laughs> like be like, what's your address? I want to send you something. I'm like, here you go. Have at it. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, I, I lock my doors. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, but anyway, uh, a book haul. What are you doing? I don't know. Make it look right. A book haul brought to you by uh, Monse, who is definitely linked down below. Uh, we love Monse. We've done Monse tags. Uh, I, this was awesome and unexpected and way too kind of you. Uh, Absolutely. So thank you very much. Uh, in addition to subscribing to Monse, you can always give our channel a subscribe as well. Maybe you'll see some white knights in the future. <laughs> and uh, hit that like button down below because Monse is awesome and this is what BookTube is about. But absolutely, make sure you get over to Monse's channel and hit subscribe.